Dear viewer, this is Suman Pachigula here and this video is primarily for the staffing industry people and my question here for you is what do you think this 2024 is going to bring for us? Is it going to be a recession period or it is going to be for tough and uh, it is going to be very much uh, difficult for us to place candidates or what do you think it is going to be? So here in this video, we are going to understand what are the predictions and what are the analysts says and what are some of the reports that every recruiter should know. And uh, in the video, we are going to see how the market is and what is that recruiters should expect from the market and how the market is going to be and for the people who want to get into the recruiting industry, how the market is going to be for them in 2024 and next year as well. So as I was doing my own research and uh, I was trying to understand that how it is going to be the recession prediction in US. So what I have uh, understood is there are very interesting reports and there are a few very scary predictions from the people. All right. Now, before we get in, let me tell you what is a recession. Okay. In very layman's term, in uh, basic terms, a recession is a period when the economy isn't doing so well. So it is likely a downturn or slump. It's going slow in the economy where things aren't going as smoothly as usual. During the recession, there's usually less money going around. Businesses may struggle. People might lose their job and it can be harder for everyone to afford the things they need. Now here during recession, what happens? The inflation will go up, the banks will increase the rates and because the, they want more money to come to them and shop shops, industries, they minimize their rates and people, whoever is there in the, in the market, the household people, they try to save more money. So in that particular circle, there will be less money circulation so that the economy of the country slows down. Okay, that's what they call uh, recession. If the gross uh, GDP, gross domestic product, the buying power of the, the citizens of the country, if that goes down for continuous for two quarters, they say it is the recession which is the country is heading. Now, for example, imagine there is a town where a lot of people work at a big factory. Okay, if the factory shuts down because of people aren't buying as many things, then those workers might lose their jobs okay because buyers if they do not spend money buying the product then what is that the company will do they'll shut down the company and the people who are working there they'll lose the jobs now with fewer people working or less people work they might spend less money at local stores causing their businesses to struggle too so this creates a cycle where the economy slows down and everyone feels the effect you see that so that's what the cycle is all about now you understood what is the recession is right where the less money transactions happens the cycle is very less and so many businesses struggle due to that now when i searched online so the, here the scary part is okay so in the beginning of this year there was 50 percent or less chances that us may get recession as it forwarded one day after it became 55 percent to 45 percent by a different uh, uh, group of analysts now in 26 jan it became 62.94 and six days before all right so today is 18th february 2024 six days before in one around 12 of uh, feb 85% chances of recession in United States. Okay. Now, why this prediction is like that? Because of the current scenario, the unemployment, their inflation rate, and people's, uh, the dollar uh, buying power rate, everything comes together. And let's, we see what are the other things are also happening there and what are, who are the other countries also going through these sort of issues. Now, if you see, Japan and UK, they are already in recession, they declared, all right, their, their job loss and their uh, financial crisis is so much that they have officially declared that they are going in recession. Now, what are the chances who are in the line? You see Germany and uh, this is Australia and this goes on US all right now that's what in their back-to-back -back following places 
probably they may get into the recession in the coming years now let's see in the news recession has struck some of the world's top economies the uk keeps defying expectation the us keeps defying expectation all right so it is just few days before now both japan and uk both were declared because of their uh, downturn of the economy they went to this recession crisis so what do they say giving much of the credit to us households meaning the people who are in us that they are getting full credit for what who have continued to spend at a solid rate despite of man, many challenges meaning the gdp is normal their spending makes up the majority of the us economy right because they buy services goods so many things that is the reason the economy feels stable so government stimulus helped household weather the initial stage of the pandemic and jump in inflation and now pay raises are helping them catch up to high prices for the good and services goods and services they need now at this moment what is that happen is inflation is at 3.1% where it was 9.2% in 2022 now it is 3.1% and their pay has increased to 5% so that is the reason the growth of buying power has increased now on thursday a report showed this is a recent one feb 15 right on thursday a report showed that fewer us workers filed for unemployment benefit meaning what is unemployment benefit you have seen during the pandemic right so many people filed for the unemployment because of the job loss and they are not getting jobs so now less people filed is the latest signal of the remarkable solid job market less people every year people file but that's what they are saying it's a less happening now even though a litany of layoff announcement has grabbed attention recently so many layoffs have been right still that is going on but still not everybody is applying for unemployment benefit that continued strength there should help prop up the economy that's what they are thinking that us may not go into recession that is the reason us keeps defying expectations so that is one of the news and statista says by december 2024 that's what they predicted in a month two months before it is projected that there is probability of 6.94 62.94% that the us states will united states will fall into another economic recession okay that's what we have seen right year 60.94% that's what they are saying this is an increase from the projection from the preceding month where the probability was 51.84% so it was 51.84 few months back now it increased to 62 that's what they are saying the us recession probability are predicted a year in advance by using the difference between 10 years to 3 months treasury rates okay according to the treasury rates they predict so still it says more than 50% now what are the other predictor says the david rosenberg the us now has an 85% chances of recession in 2024 the highest probability since the great financial crisis and what are they saying he highlighted a relatively new economic model that has proven to be more timely than the yield curve indicator so he was saying that the yield curve indicator was another report which was not much predictable now there he got that he got something different model to say it's 85% chances that it may go to recession our conviction that the recession has been delayed but not derailed it's still running at a high level that's what they're saying it has not derailed all right still it's not it's just delayed it did not go out of track but chances are there that it may happen any time maybe and what are the other graphs says he noted that in nearly in early 2023 this model suggested only a 12% chance of recession in 2013 if we see the red color right red color is the recession in 2013 it was around this okay the higher part you see that 13% now while the yield curve said the odd could be recession 50% that's the reason they said the yield curve indicator is not that much uh, accurate but in 2024 what is that happened you see that in 2024 it goes to 85% so that's what they are saying the full model predicted the soft landing we saw in 2023 this so thought it is going to be soft landing but now is saying that for 2024 
recession probability are highly elevated you see it's from 13 to it's 85 the model calls into question the growing narrative that the economy is about to pull off a soft landing slowly it is going to slow down or no landing scenario this year so they said it is going to normal or there will be nothing but our conviction that the recession has been delayed but not derailed is still running in high pace so the analyst rosenberg he is still predicting that things may go wrong in next 12 to 18 months but there is a positivity as well why the government has not declared that yes we are going to recession if we see here the report si report the prediction is high all right and uh, they have uh, the gdp is lower and uh, their inflation is 3.1% which is this which they say it's higher but still they do not say that it's going recession because the employment is rising you see the total non farm employment meaning leaving people who are not working in farms everything is non farm it increased more than 3 lakhs temporary help services meaning the contract position that staffing companies help the clients to take the candidates and complete their projects in that scenarios it has increased and unemployment also did not did not grow it stayed below 4% so this is a positive sign and deutsche bank no longer expects us recession in 2024 and looking at the consumer spending deutsche bank says there will be no longer any recession so that's a good sign so in this particular 50 50 percentage right is half half uh, the news that we are seeing if you are currently working so let's see what are the businesses what are the industries which are recession proof okay so here are some of the jobs which john egan says that these are recession proof i found this article in forbes okay if you see staffing agency because let's not don't focus on other but staffing agency is one of those businesses which are recession proof businesses <laughs> now you can make a smile a little bit okay you can bring a smile because uh, this is a good sign that we are working in good industry and again let's look at some jobs okay now here i have opened nokri.com and let's go recruiter jobs okay now it will help you to understand how is the current market in india now if you see there are a lot of jobs or there are less jobs with the term recruiter there are 66000 jobs and if we select the freshness to 15 days from 66000 to it will go to 11000 what do you think the market is we can even go to bench sales bench sales is 8000 openings bench sales has 8000 openings and uh, in last 15 days there are 3000 okay i'm not going into details there are salary ranges 3 lakhs 6 lakhs 10 lakhs so on and so forth right now what do you think the market is what do you think the current market trend is now either it is good or bad recession may come or not market may fall or it may not fall but we have to be prepared all the recruiters bench sales out there if you are in higher position maybe you might be joining recently so this is what you should be focusing build a strong network this network is not only for the candidates for recruiters as well now this will help you to understand the market trend the current news possibilities job openings so many different things focus on updating your resume get ready and update your linkedin profile as well 
not only updating your linkedin profile with what you are doing or your profile pic but keep working on your personal branding keep adding value to the market keep adding in linkedin that what are your achievements are and what are you doing so that it will help the people understand that what you are doing or at the end if you are looking for any job so your profile is going to be very much uh, valuable value addition to the your next job search process if you are getting in uh, freelance jobs contract jobs see if you can manage focus on upgrading yourself education and learnings you want to uh, upgrade yourself in sales or in business development or in communication or negotiation any of that if you are getting upgrade yourself your learning prepare financially all right it decrease your spending make sure that you keep your uh, emergency fund and uh, do not take bigger loans and min- ensure you have a 3 to 6 months of uh, savings so that you could uh, you know won't go into any sort of uh, a financial crisis if anything goes wrong stay positive at the end this is what is very much important stay positive stay optimistic and do good at your job and focus on your health as well because when you are healthy then only other things that you could able to manage right so focus on these things and be prepared and let me know how do you feel this report and do share this report with other people so that they also can be aware of what is that going on in the market all right thank you so very much this is suman pachigula on a mission to impact 5 million lives through you take care and bye bye